All right, Carnegie Mellon, four years. And yeah, today I'm just gonna be talking about it. This idea definitely came from me and let's just head right in. All right, so let's start off with freshman year. I actually went into CMU having already taken two courses. Um, for some reason in like seventh grade, I got an Arduino and I just decided this is what I wanna be the best I can be at. And so CMU was already like, what I wanted to do. So I did this thing called pre-college, which you can take two courses. And so I took intro to ECE and concepts of mathematics. And intro to ECE is like op amps and flip flops and stuff like that. And at the time I thought it was really cool. And concepts of mathematics is a discrete math course. So it's like proofs and logic. And this course is actually really cool. I think that it changes the way you think. And so yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so I started freshman year. I took rapid prototyping. In this class, you model stuff in CAD and 3D print it. And it's pretty cool. I made a pen that you can use your finger to write with. So if people can't necessarily grab the pen like this, then they can just use their finger like a tablet on paper. Calc 3D, which is just math and shapes. Mechanical engineering, which is pretty much physics. And I did some research in a robotics lab where I made a robotic beetle that could swim and detect chemicals in the water. This semester was actually really chill. I would say I partied a lot and also did a lot of club tennis and MMA club and also a bunch of random clubs that I never was in after this semester, but for the first semester, it was pretty fun. Then in the spring, I took data structures and algorithms. This class is definitely the single most important class that I've taken. Uh, just like in any college, this is what all the interviews are about. I also did more of the research and mathematics of ECE. This one was matrix math and a bunch of math with imaginary numbers. Honestly, I never use this math ever again, but thinking about the foundation that it sets up, I would say I have no regrets taking it. Signals and systems. This class is actually really cool. Use this thing called Fourier transform, Fourier transform <laughs> uh, to turn uh, things based in time into things based in frequency. Uh, saying that probably doesn't make any sense, but it's just a lot of math. I also got two concussions from doing MMA. I would say it's not worth it. I don't even know how I did school. I remember my head hurting a lot and definitely the IQ points getting dropped. I also joined a fraternity, which contributed to some IQ loss. And yeah, also just playing a lot of tennis. All right, so now we're in sophomore year. And this year I took functional programming. This class was actually really hard for me. I think it's because it makes you think in such a different way about programming compared to object-oriented programming that, yeah, it just makes it really hard, but changes the way you think about problems. Yeah. Next is computer systems. This is my single favorite class at CMU. It's super important. You actually learn how a computer works and make some really cool projects in the course. You make a memory allocation project and a web proxy project, and it's really sick. Probability theory. This was a math class to do with probability and multivariate distributions. This class is straight pure math, but I think it definitely makes you smarter because you see a lot of the problems in the real world and you can kind of reason out the probability of different possibilities happening with the math. And finally, I took Chinese one and this class was actually really hard, but I just wanted to learn Chinese. Anyways, the semester was actually super hard. I remember grinding late nights a little too many times. I was actually really unhappy this semester at CMU. Like I'll look out the window and it'd be all gloomy. And I was like, fuck, I should be in California, which is where I went to high school. Okay, so the next semester I took intro to machine learning and this class was super cool. Um, before I thought machine learning was like this crazy black box that I knew nothing about, which, okay, I, I didn't know anything about it, but I thought it was some crazy genius stuff. And then in this class, you learn exactly how it works. Like you have to code a neural network from scratch, which is pretty cool. You can make a computer learn like a human does. It's also taught by a professor named Matt Gormley, who I would say is my favorite professor at CMU. Every lecture was like a really entertaining TED talk. He would have demonstrations with people in the class, like every lecture. And yeah, I would say it's pretty engaging. Digital systems, this shit's like low level programming, FPGAs, uh, you have to code vending machine logic in this language called Verilog. And it's pretty cool, but it also taught me that 
I do not want to do any more of it whatsoever. Negotiation. I actually really like this class. They make you role play as people in a negotiation and you have to negotiate with other people and it's like a game and the person that does the best in negotiation wins. And finally, Chinese 2. Again, straight grind. I swear they think everybody taking the class is majoring in Chinese. So they really just grill you. It's a grind, but my Chinese was improving. And yeah, outside of school, I would say like a lot of fraternity events and then club tennis took a lot of time and also club wrestling just started at CMU. So putting a lot of time into that. Also throughout all of this, grinding YouTube when I could. Then came junior year. And so we have parallel algorithms. This is like about making algorithms faster by writing them in parallel and also writing a lot of proofs for the code. So it's actually in functional programming and you have to prove the correctness of all your code mathematically. So it's kind of like the two courses I took combined and harder. Oh yeah, and also at this point, I had to choose any courses that I wanted to take based on an area. So there's like hardware systems, software systems, which is like CS stuff, which is what I chose, circuits and like nano fabrication and signals, uh, which I had no interest in. So yeah, I pretty much chose only CS courses because that was what I was into. Distributed systems. This class was actually super cool. So for big companies like Facebook to increase their computing power, they can do two things, which is scaling up or scaling out. And so scaling up is like putting more money into a single computer to make it better. And scaling out is to have more computers that talk to each other but because you have more computers, then you have more computing power. And so that's what distributed systems are. It's multiple machines that work together to have more power. Writing for the professions. This class is actually complete cake. You just write a resume and a cover letter and call it a day. Chinese three. At this point, I don't even know what they're thinking. Like this is past the point of you being a Chinese major, more essays, more talking in Chinese. And now we're at junior spring, uh, it's remote and I'm taking geology, which is a free elective. Very cool class. Uh, love the rocks. Parallel computer architecture. This is a fire class. You code on GPUs um, that has more cores than a CPU. And so a lot of problems come with that, but also a lot more performance increase comes with that. And there's like a researchy kind of project at the end. So I was parallelizing training of a neural network. So it was actually like my MO class and this class combined. Then I took a class on circuits and did not like it at all. It was a lot of math and a lot of, uh, we had labs that would like barely work, especially because it was remote school. And it just made me realize that I definitely do not want to do hardware. And finally, computer networks. Really like this class. Uh, you learn about how the internet works and how computers talk to each other on the internet. Uh, and one of the projects that you have to code is a YouTube clone. Obviously not to the same scale at all, but it's a website that other people can watch your videos on. And I also TA'd for the class that I took last semester called Distributed Systems. It was a lot of work and they pay you minimum wage. I would say that if you TA a class, it actually makes you understand the material a little bit more, but I would not do it again because it just takes way too much time. Okay, and finally, now I am a senior and I actually just have one semester left um, because as I said, I did pre-college. So I have just one semester left senior year. All right, so I took cryptocurrencies, which was really cool. It's taught by this professor that's really involved in the space and you could definitely tell through his lectures. There's a semester long project that they make you do in teams of four to make a either researchy or product with crypto and it's written in solidity. Hardware and software interfaces. Uh, this is really low level stuff. I would say that it's good for the field of high frequency trading, which I worked in the summer before this semester. I would say it's actually really good to know what's happening at the low level because then you can write programs that are way more efficient. ECE capstone. So this is the final thing that every 
EC has to do at CMU. It's a semester long project that you have to incorporate both hardware and software. So my team and I made a platform that allows you to view the free seats at any study space or you know any space that has chairs. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. We put sensors on the chairs that makes you one end of a capacitor. And so it can sense that the person is there without any form of contact or physical touch. Introduction to entrepreneurship. This was actually the number one bullshit class. They make you sell products and my group had to sell bracelets on campus. Uh, total BS. And there's some good info in the class that I might use later because, you know, on the entrepreneurship grind after I graduate and work a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty much common sense. Would not say I learned a lot in this class. And finally, the Beatles. I cannot stress how lit this class is. It's in an auditorium and the professor literally just plays Beatles songs and explains the background behind them while everybody sits on their laptop doing work. And so it's like a work session with Beatles songs playing in the background. And the final just asks you if you like the Beatles and the class. Okay, so what did I learn in terms of lessons? So something that I learned at CMU is that there's actually a lot of really, really smart and talented people, but they are no smarter than you or anybody else. You can do what they're doing eventually if you just work hard enough and you know put your mind to it. Another lesson that I learned or like something that I just was thinking about is that coding is actually really cool. Yeah, I know it seems like I have a hard on for coding and all that, but it's actually cool because you can make anything you want. You wanna make an app, if you learn CS or computer engineering or Eeks, whatever, you can do that because you have the skills to and impact people's lives or whatever. <sighs> okay, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I low-key talked way too much, super tired. It's really late right now. Join the Discord that I just made. We have like, I don't know, like 200, 300 people in it now. Also follow me on Instagram. It's at not Nang. And yeah, the usual outro, you know, free Uncle Kenny, uh, change the world. Yeah, 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 Do yeah, you remember yeah. last night cause I blacked out in that all white dress with a back out? Said be careful with a heart cause it's fragile.